Hi, Eric here from 5minuteinvesting.com. And today, we're going to talk about should you use leverage when you're investing? Now, um, I'm going to explain what leverage is in another video. So if you don't know what leverage is, refer to that video. So here, I have a house. And, you know, when people buy a house, usually, if it is 100 bucks, you don't pay full 100 bucks to buy this house. You pay a down payment. Now, whether that is $10 or $20 to buy a $100 house, it depends on your credit score. It depends on how much money you can borrow from the bank and so on. So here I have a $100 house and there are two scenarios. One, you use 100% of your own money. So that means you put $100 in and then the price of the house goes up by $10 and you make 10%. Very straightforward. You know, the market of the housing market goes up by around 10% a year in Vancouver anyways. So $100, I pay $100, it goes up by 10%, I make 10%, which is $10. Now, what if I use a down payment? Then, essentially, I borrow $90 from someone else, and OPM means other people's money. And then I put in $10 of my own, the price of the house goes up by 10%, which then I make $10. So when I sell this house, I pay uh, the other people $90 plus some interest, and I make, let's say, $10. So in this case, my return on the $10 I put in is 100%. So let me repeat this if I'm going too fast. If I'm not using leverage, where I put in $100 to buy a house that would increase by 10%, I make $10, which is 10%. But if I use other people's money to buy this house and I only put in $10, then when this house goes up by 10%, boom, I make 100% on my money. That means I can buy 10 houses and borrow 90% using other people's money and make 100%. This is how people invest in the real estate market. That's why they make so much money because the real estate market is a general uptrend, which means it's a very high probability market, which gives people a lot of confidence to use leverage and not get screwed over. Now, of course, there are real estate um, market crashes, which wipe a lot of people out if you are highly levered. But this is how real estate investors do it, how hedge fund makes their money, and that's how I invest as well, except I invest in the market. Now, there is one requirement when you're using leverage that you must follow, or else it will burn you alive. And the one requirement when you're using leverage is that the investment vehicle you're putting your money in needs to be high probability. Now, what I mean by that is you need to be really, 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 really sure that you can get this 10%. The, the entire model fails when you fail to get this 10%. So, for example, if you use leverage on a penny stock, that is a recipe for disaster. But if you use leverage to buy something that is growing year after year, that is a profitable company, usually medium to large, then you'll be in a very, very favorable condition. And that's how I do it.